We started designing our own custom 3D printed car parts like this iPad mount holder, I started to wonder, could we possibly sell these parts to fund our BMW E30 project build? But first, let's see how the pros are selling 3D printed car parts and see if we can find any secrets. Now, if you're into engine swamps, you might have heard of Holly or Haltech, and they make awesome screens that display a bunch of data. But one of the things that they don't sell much of are custom mounts. So while searching for a custom E30 screen mount, that's when I ran across carchains3d.com. They sell tons of custom 3D printed mounts for around 150 bucks. Now we did some more research on Car Chains 3D and on average, they're pulling in about $4,000 a month selling custom 3D printed parts. We'll share the link in the description with the owner's interview along with access to our newsletter where we go over tons more information that we don't share here on the channel. And if you love our content, like and subscribe, that really helps us know if you want more of this type of content. Now, another way you can research successful 3D printed car part sales is eBay, believe it or not. It's pretty easy. Just search for a custom part on eBay and then select the recently sold or completed items filter. This will list all the parts which have sold in the last few days and more importantly, the price. You can also click on the eBay seller link to see what other items someone has sold successfully. Now, you don't want to just use what you find on completed listings through eBay as something you can just copy, but instead you can use this for some inspiration or how you can make your own custom car parts. And the way we did that was by finding something we needed for our own project car, like this iPad mount holder. It mounts to the original spot where the radio went in the BMW E30 and it has these cool little slots in the back for extra cables and you can put the mini iPad in here. It has a charge cord as well. So this is something that you can design yourself. We actually have another video where we went over on how you could actually custom design your own parts. Now, if you don't have cash to buy a printer up front, you could use a print on demand service like PCBWay.com. You can upload your files and print the parts in ASA. And here's what they could look like. This is our radio delete plate and we added some switch panels here and the fitment on this is perfect but not only can you print your parts in asa but you can also print your parts in aluminum it's our spark plug wire holder separator clip printed in anodized blue aluminum now pcb way is a sponsor of today's video which means you can use the link in the description of the video and get five bucks off your next 3d printed or aluminum part so now that we have a couple of custom car parts that we've created, let's see how much profit we can make by selling them. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the radio delete plate. You can search for an item and then create a listing based on someone else's previous listing. This is the fastest way to get started. And here we'll go ahead and select new, and then we'll go ahead and continue to our listing. So what this will do is this will copy everything and then we can go ahead and modify it. So it gives us a good base to start with. So we'll go ahead and delete that. The title is actually pretty good just like that. So we won't mess with it anymore for right now. And then you can change some of the other specifics. So here we're not using ABS. We're actually using ASA filament for our part. It's a bit better um, from a UV resistant perspective. So, and then we'll go ahead and drop our pictures in here. Here we have all of the different pictures that we've taken and you can rearrange and reorder pictures. You can delete pictures. That one looks the same as the rest, so we won't use it. And then you can use the AI to create a description. And then I like to just further modify it. I like going to bullet list and then we'll go ahead here and change the price to $25 for the part using the buy it now structure. And if we scroll down, we can see that we have the different options for shipping. We like to use USPS ground and we'll go ahead and select baking the price for that into the part. And here we're actually going to change the handling time to one business day. It's not going to take us more than a day to package it up. You can also promote your listing. So that'll be another percentage of the price, but we'll go ahead and keep that off for now. 
And here we can see the preview. And I, actually, I don't like that picture. That picture is not the first picture I want to show. So you can come back and you can look at your different pictures. And let's go ahead and select uh, a different picture. Um, I'm kind of debating whether or not to do that one. The car's not finished in the background. So maybe we'll go ahead and change it to something a little different. Okay, that looks much better. All right, so that part's ready to go. We'll go ahead and create our iPad holder. You can do the same thing. You can reuse somebody else's part. We'll go ahead and modify this, call it out that it's an iPad mini iPad car holder and get rid of all this other stuff. Put our photos in. We actually have some more photos that we have and you wanna have as many photos as you can. And I like that one the best. And then we'll go ahead and use the AI description again, create our nice bulleted list. And here we wanna make sure that if we capture a picture like the iPad, we make sure we list it saying that it's not included in that list. So now we're gonna set the part to around $35, but after thinking about it with the shipping and the fees about 13%, let's bump this up a bit. So I think $45 is a much better price. And we can look at the preview and it, it looks perfect. Now, one of the pluses of selling car parts on eBay is your part could get tons of visibility with the search function, even without spending any money on additional advertising. But there is one more way that you could avoid all the fees on eBay. And let's take a look at that next. So we're actually using Squarespace to host our website and you can sell parts. Here's the fees and two, nine, three point two, one, one, five and one percent. So kind of lied there. <laughs> it, it's not le it's not getting rid of all the fees. It, it's about 10 percent compared to about 13 percent. But here I'll show you just how easy it is to go ahead and run the shop so you can save that three percent and and how that works compared to eBay. So here you can go ahead and list your part. We have all the pictures just like we have on eBay. You can change the price of your part. You can put it on sale. You can change the stock. So if you're out, you can put zero and it'll notify that. You can also set up your shipping, same shipping USPS here, but you'll have to print your labels um, through USPS directly instead. And then here is kind of what the listing will look like for the iPad mini holder. And again, it's kind of the same process. We can bump up our price here. So we'll go ahead and change that to $45 as well. And we'll go ahead and hit save and we can modify that price. And so you can do all of that with it set to sold out. So while you're changing prices and stuff, you're not having people purchase while you're making changes. And so here's what the listing looks like. And you could click on it and you can see all the nice photos just like you can on eBay. You could put even more descriptions in there. Um, and if they click on it, sold out, they get the message. And here's what the mobile version looks like. And I like that you can go ahead and toggle back and forth and just make sure everything's just right. Now that we know all the fees, let's break down the cost of buying your own printer versus using a print on demand service. So let's take a look at how much it's gonna cost for DIY printing versus print on demand. If we look at eBay, we have our E30 radio delete plate for $25 and our iPad mini holder for 45. Our shipping fees we already talked about and our eBay fees are around 13% per item. And we also have another category here, which is our ASA filament. So printing uh, this particular radio delete plate is 47 cents worth of ASA filament and the iPad mini holder is around $3. And so if we sold one of each of these with all of those different shipping fees, costs, ASA filament prices, we're looking at $17.28 if we were to list it at 25 and $31.15 if we sold this at 45. Now that's total of $48 but you need to invest in a 3D printer. And we would recommend the Bamboo Lab P1S. It can print ASA filament right out of the box. It's an enclosed printer and the print quality is fantastic. And it'll cost you around $700. And it is upgradable so you can print other types of filaments in the future as well. So in order to pay off our printer, let's see how many parts we would have to sell. So maybe we've sold 10 of those 
and about 20 of those. So we're looking at having to sell around 30 parts in total to get close, uh, well actually go over $700. So at 30 parts, we would make $95. Now, if we look at running our own website, everything is pretty much the same, except the fees are slightly different. So they're around 10% instead of 13%. And so we'll save a little bit and let's see 10 and 20. So we'll make around $830. And so um, what's that? That's about $130 uh, once we've paid for our 3d printer but then don't forget about that monthly website fee here so if we actually go down to our print on demand everything again is the same but we're going to change the filament to how much it costs to print that part through the print on demand service so the e30 radio delete plate is 10 and then it's 30 dollars for the ipad the mini iPad holder and the bigger parts do increase significantly. And if we take a look at our gross profit, um, it definitely goes down for each part. But if we sold the same amount, let's see, we're going to make uh, selling 30 parts. We're going to make $160. So we don't have to worry about covering the cost of that printer. And if we do the same thing down here, 10 and 20, and we're going to make a little bit more, the about $21. But remember, you still have that monthly website fee. So in the short run, you might save some money by using a print on demand service. But if you like to tinker around and create tons of different prototypes, you might want to invest in a 3D printer. And if you want to learn more about how to 3D print car parts, check out this next video.